Hi everyone and welcome to another, eight, another HD tutorial. And in this video I'll be showing you how to upgrade your current version of the Skype chatting client and messaging and calling and video chat client. And I'm going to teach you how to upgrade to Skype 4.0, the newest version, which happens to still be in beta for Windows, but I'm going to show you how to upgrade this anyway. So right now what I'm going to do is actually exit out of the actual Skype client while we're um, reinstalling it. Then we're going to open up a web browser. In this case it's going to be Safari. And in any popular search engine, just type in Skype, and the first link that comes up will be Skype.com. Um, if you haven't already watched my video on how to use or uh, how to download the original version of Skype, please do so, so you can have it, and this upgrade will be even easier for you. So just click on Skype.com, and the first link that you'll get is the one that's telling you you should download Skype. So let's wait for this real quick. I'm also I'm kind of hogging bandwidth because I'm downloading a video file here. But right here it says download Skype 4.0 for Windows, and if you didn't already know, over here it says Skype is also available for Windows in a business version. But act the regular Windows version, which is in beta, Mac OS X, Linux, Windows Mobile, Wi-Fi phones, which is really neat, voice over IP phones, and um, also other cordless phones and a specific Nokia phone. So basically what's new about Skype is the, basically the quality and the instantaneousness of it. It's almost like being there. Um, I would recommend Skype to anyone who hasn't used it already and who just wants to have free PC to PC calling or video chatting or just um, just chatting regular like AIM for anyone else. And you can click on this link right here to learn how voice over IP actually works. So I'm going to click the download now button. Even though I already have a version of Skype, it's going to say, do you would you like to open skypefullsetup.exe? And I definitely do. Now this is a 22 megabyte file in case you were wondering. And it's going to render in about 15 seconds, so let's just wait for it while I exit out my other internet browser. Alright, when this is done, you're going to get a little dialog box saying, do you want to run it? And I'll say yes. And this will pop up a little, a little command, uh, would you actually like to do it? I'm from UAC, which is actually invisible to Cam Studio, but in Camtasia you would actually have been able to see that. So yeah, it says hello and thank you for downloading Skype. And I'm obviously going to select English, and I do accept the end user license agreement and the privacy statement, and I'm going to hit the install button. So here it's install installing Skype, which will may take a few minutes, which is why I'm going to pause this video and come back to you guys right when it's done. Alright, it looks like the window just disappeared, actually, that it's finished dialog box, the whole installation process is over, and now it's signing right back in. Also, if you ever feel like Skyping me, I love taking your calls, answering whenever, and um, actually, the, uh, the interface is going to be a little bit different. So it says, take a minute to get set up to see what's new in Skype, to find your friends, and to check how your sound works. Now, if you already had friends and contacts in Skype, you're going to have them already. So I'm going to close this welcome screen and start using Skype. Here is, um, here is exactly the new interface. Over on the left, you can see there's a few different little icons here, seeing how you can actually, um, there's 11 million people online. Just a little different fonts, and you can still change the same things. Go ahead and watch my video on customizing Skype. Uh, getting little extras for it that'll actually uh, blend in as basically add-ons, just like you would have in um, Firefox. And also, you can send SMS and choose, and you still have all your old contacts. That's a really good thing. And also, you can check to see how your video looks. Go ahead and make a video call to a friend. It's the same interface. It's I really like it, and I am glad I upgraded to Skype 4.0. Also, um, when you upgrade to Skype, you'll get uh, three-way calling, which is really neat. So I'm going to say I'm just away right now. That's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. And if you have any other requests, just subscribe and send me a message, and I'll do my best. So thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy Skype 4. Peace.